Now in part B we have another inequality. So we're going to start solving this the same as always. Get everything on one side and zero on the other. I'm going to call that guy f of x. And we're looking for where f of x is bigger than or equal to zero. So first thing we look at is we look for domain issues. So um, remember, we're on the interval 0 to 2 pi. And so the question is, uh, are there any places where the tangent 2x is going to be undefined there? And so we think back to what tangent is sine over cosine. And so we're going to have issues anywhere cosine is 0. So we need to figure out where's cosine 2x equal to 0. So where's the cosine of something equal to 0? Well, it's whenever that something is pi over 2 plus some integer multiple of k. Or in other words, dividing both sides by 2, multiplying both sides by a half, a half times pi over 2 plus pi over 2k. And so in 0 to 2 pi, uh, we get pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. So these four things are going to have to get put on the um, number line as places where the function is undefined. The second thing we look for then is the zeros of the function. And so we're back to solving the equation tangent 2x equals radical 3. So where's the tangent of something equal to radical 3? Well, that something has got to be pi over 3 plus any integer multiple of pi. So I multiply both sides by a half. I get pi over 6 plus pi over 2k for k equals 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2. And to simplify the computations here, let's get a common denominator of 6 on this. That's pi over 6 plus uh, 3 pi over 6, k. All right, which of these are going to lie between 0 and 2 pi? Well, pi over 6 will. 4 pi over 6 would be the next one, which is 2 pi over 3. Um, 7 pi over 6, and then 10 pi over 6, which is 5 pi over 3. So we're getting four places where the function is undefined and four places where the function is equal to 0. So now we have everything we need. Go off and make the sine diagram.